going to. Huh? Sorry, <laughs> I've never heard it say that, and I apologize. I wasn't recording at the beginning of the meeting. <laughs> and uh, with uh, Raisa's departure, uh, I'd like to uh, uh, take this opportunity to introduce uh, Acting Deputy Director for Economic Development, Jill Scott. Hi, everyone. It's so nice to meet you. I haven't met either one of you, so it's very nice to um, to make your acquaintance. And as Gabe said, I'm actually the real properties manager for the city. Um, I've also been with the city for 24 years, a little less than Gabe's 27. He's got me beat. Um, but uh, it's been a pleasure to be here and to be um, working with Gabe and the team and uh, learning a little bit about economic development and kind of holding it all together until the recruitment goes out. So um, I'm pleased to see you and, um, and I'll enjoy working uh, with you all for the time that I'm here. Thank you, Jill. Wonderful. All right, so seeing that there aren't any members of the public here, close that section and uh, move on to uh, the next item, which is item number five event support application process update. So, item one, uh, we have listed uh, evaluation and scoring criteria document. Um, so this next item is to introduce a new process going forward in which the board will be evaluating and scoring the applications received during the two annual cycles. Um, and Jill is actually here to provide further details regarding that, that process. Thank you, Rafael. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to go through um, the process for this year for um, event support and for scoring the criteria. Um, so we wanted to go through and, and kind of just stick with um, what was originally set and the basis for um, how event support would happen. And then going forward after we get through this process of this year, I think um, we can have a meeting and discuss if there's a different way the board would like to do it or a better way or if this works for you all. Um, so what we're proposing for this year is um, to review the event support um, in a few stages. So March 31st coming up is when all of the applications are due in. So that's the last date. So by April 5th, we'd like to get packets to the board members with um, every all the information that you need, including the event support review, which I'd like if you have a chance to read over um, and let us know if that criteria looks good to you or if you'd like any changes to the criteria, we can talk about that. And then um, we'll get the criteria to you as well as uh, everyone who has submitted for your scoring. Um, we'd like you to score, if we get that to you by April 5th, we'd like you to score and return to us by April 10th. And then we would like to have a um, special meeting. We're proposing a special board meeting. We're hoping somewhere around April 16th, but we'd like to check with you all on that date. Um, we would hope to get announcements out to the event coordinators by April 18th, um, letting them know if they've been funded or not funded. Um, so basically, you would get the scoring back to us by April 10th. We would put everything into the submittable program, um, review all that, and then um, print out some information for everyone and then come back at that special meeting so everyone has a time to discuss it together and go over go over the scoring and see if there's any um, changes or, you know, little changes that, that need to be made. Um, so at this time, I'd just like to open it up to any of the board members for discussion or if there's anything they'd like to <clears throat> arrange or change. Yeah, I was looking at... Um... Number one, and then in the ordinance itself, section 6-56-290, where it says uh, activities and programs that promote and encourage tourism within the area, which will benefit the operators of lodging establishments. Um, I don't feel that that criteria is represented very well in the uh, the three uh, criteria that are listed here. I mean, it's kind of mentioned in one, but the ordinance doesn't say anything about promoting a culture, community service. You know, I, I just feel that promoting overnight stay should be more prominent as far as the scoring goes. Okay, we can definitely, um, we can definitely adjust. What do you think about adjusting number one to be more focused on that? Okay. 
Yeah, I agree. I think if we could just add something about promoting overnight stays in that, mm -hmm. that would. That sounds great. Okay. Um, we'll get that updated and send out to you um, so you can look at it one more time to review. Are you okay with uh, if we're changing the prominent one, number one, to being very clear about promoting overnight stays? Do you have any um, issues with two, three, or it's two or three? I didn't have any issues with them. I felt the overnight stay should be weighed heavier than okay. the other two. Great. Yep. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Any? No. <coughs> That's definitely what we need to do is promote the overnight stays. That's pretty right. much. Yeah. Front and center. Okay. Got it. You can make that change. So we'll make the modification and send that to the board members for for review, just to make sure you don't have any issues with it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. What day did you want to do the special meeting again? I'm sorry, I missed it. Hoping to do it um, on or around April 16th, <coughs> depending on the board members' availability. Oh, I'm looking at March. Mark, that's Saturday. Yeah, maybe. What day? It's a Tuesday. Tuesday. I mean, right now it sounds fine. <laughs> <laughs> Tentatively, it sounds okay right now. Okay, okay. We'll try and get that out right away so we can get you um, booked. Yeah. Is there a preference as to like, keep it at 11 o'clock, which is... I was going to say not 2 o'clock would be good. Not 2 o'clock. Okay. 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 Yeah, I was thinking about the morning if we can. Okay. 5.30 sharp. <laughs> Okay, sounds good. Are there any other questions about that process or comments? Any changes? Does this process sound okay for this year? For this first round? Yeah. Generally. You're okay? Yeah. And Donna's okay? okay. And then keep in mind again that we're continuing to utilize the submittable platform as a way to, you know, have applications online as to once we used to receive those uh, paper applications. And, it was in PDF formats, and it was quite a complicated process. So. All right. Okay, uh, so there are no members of the public, so we'll go ahead and close that session. And uh, moving on to uh, so, uh, item number six, which is advisory uh, vacant, uh, or vacancies. Uh, 6.1 is a recruiting process. So. We currently have a uh, vacancy on the board due to uh, Hugh Futrell's resignations from the board back in November 2023. So we are seeking a representative uh, representing a full service in the full service category. Uh, there is a process in place to have interested individuals apply through an online board of or commission's landing page. And I brought some copies of um, um, not the application, but the uh, landing page itself, um, but I'm happy to share the, the link after this meeting. And then once we obtain a list of viable candidates, we can add the item to a future, to a future agenda and select a candidate to then make the recommendation to the council. Um, we, oh, we also need to fill a uh, alternate to the uh, chair for the advisory board as well. So. All right. Any uh, discussion? Yeah, yeah. Um, I did talk to the city clerk. Thank you, um, Chair Rivero. I did talk to the city clerk, and um, they're going to update the website to try and get the information out. And we're going to try and reach out to some of the full service hotels in the area and see if there's someone that's interested. If you all know of anyone, please let us know or feel free to reach out to them uh, to go to the landing page and, and apply. Okay. Okay. What's the timing on that? As soon as we need any time to get an application. Okay. Yes. Um, next item is uh, seven department reports. Are there any department reports this morning? Okay. Seeing that there's none, I'll move on to uh, item number eight, which is to adjourn the meeting. So, <laughs> all my meetings are like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all very much for coming. It's great to see you. And uh, let's take the next thing. And, uh, we'll see you guys.
those revisions made. And then uh, continue going forward and we'll see you back on the 16th. Sounds good. Okay, on the calendar. Cool. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you.